Hi everyone, I have a new soap recipe and I'm using five oils. For this soap recipe, I'm replacing water with coconut milk and I'm using a fresh coconut to make fresh coconut milk. You see, this is already my coconut milk so but please um clean and sanitize your work area and make sure you're wearing gloves and goggles or safety glasses before you will make a soap so um, let's start it first i need to measure out my sodium hydroxide which i already did it and my sodium hydroxide is four ounces um let me move this a little bit so for this recipe i'm using sodium hydroxide for ounces and i will use coconut fresh coconut milk 10 ounces Next, I have to pour sodium hydroxide into the coconut milk. Now I have to mix them together. You know what, I will uh, mix them with my rubber spatula. Until sodium hydroxide fully dissolved. So I still have a little bit left here, right here. So make sure you're using all ingredients, whatever left. So I'm using all sodium hydroxide, all four ounces. So. Keep mixing until it will fully dissolve. I think this is enough and I can put this in a safe place until it cools a little bit more. Okay, I will just put this one in a safe place. Now it is time to wait and heat the oils and I'm using um, five oils as you know 
and um, let's see I already measure up my olive oil so my olive oil is 15 ounces so I'm using 15 ounces of olive oil next my favorite coconut oil I like coconut oil and coconut oil is really good for cold process soaps and I'm using 8 ounces of coconut oil now I will mix coconut oil with olive oil so you remember it's 15 ounces olive oil and 8 ounces of coconut oil make sure using everything okay so next next oil will be castor oil and castor oil at four ounces you see four ounces of castor oil and i'm using organic castor oil this is really good one as you know castor oil is very good for cold cold process or uh, soaps also okay so this was four ounces and next my favorite one of my favorite solid oils this will be um cocoa cocoa butter cocoa butter is really good and uh, i'm using two ounces of cocoa butter two ounces of cocoa butter and let me scrub everything smells so nice i love co cocoa butter smells so nice next solid oil will be um shea butter because um, and this smells so nice it smells like honey i'm not sure if they mix it with honey or not but do you see this this is the shea butter and i will use three ounces of shea butter Three ounces of shea butter. Let me bring my smaller spatula so I can. I'm trying to take everything out because we need to use everything like oh my god it smells so nice and shea butter is a wonderful ingredient to use for cold process soap as it makes the soap super creamy and moisturizing and for this recipe i'm using three ounces of shea butter let me see Shea butter helps also to harden soap while, um, you know, it's 
while the creamy and highly conditioning letters Shea butter soaps are suitable for all skin type, for dry skin, oily or sensitive skin. And this natural product can help to improve your complexions also. So try to use Shea butter every time you make some cold process soap. Try to include this. Wonderful solid oil in your soap recipes. Oh, I have some cocoa butter here left too. Let me use all of it. Oh my god, this is so nice. It smells so wonderful. I love solid oils and cocoa, cocoa butter and shea butter. They work beautifully together in any soap recipe. You can include both and they're amazing what they can do with this. Okay. I prefer Roche butter in soaps because, you know, I want all of that natural goodness that shea butter provides. Shea butter in cold process soaps can help also to create this rich, creamy leather that is gentle, you know, for, for all, for skin for all type of skin, like dry skin, oily skin. It is also an excellent moisturizer and can help to keep the skin feeling soft and supple. Okay, let's see what happened with our coconut milk and sodium hydroxide mixture. It is a little bit hot. As you know, I like working with, I like working with cold temperature, but it's okay. This is probably not bad. Let me check the temperature. It seems a little bit hot. I think that's because of the milk. Okay, let me double check the temperature. How much is my mixture? Let's see. Okay, it's not bad. It's 60, 65. It's not bad. Now I'm drizzling, um, you know, slowly drizzling the sodium hydroxide mixture into the container of oils. I will do it little by little. And I will blend until it will reach trace point. I will use a um, stick blender too, but before I will use stick blender, I always like to mix it with my spatula. Oh my God, it smells so nice. Really nice smell.
I'm still mixing my sodium hydroxide and coconut milk mixture with solid oils and oils. So let me put a little bit more. I wish you can smell this. It smells so nice. I can't describe. I really like this cocoa smell, cocoa butter smell. Cacao butter smells so nice. Just wonderful. I'm planning to use my stick blender now. I think it looks maybe. I'd rather take out the second one because I think this two is enough for mixing. We still need to mix this soap butter. I think I have to 
I, I'm trying to find my essential oil. I believe I put it here somewhere. Oh no, where's my essential oil? Oh no, no, I love essential oils. All soaps, they, they, they smell better, but essential oils. But every time you put cocoa butter in your soaps, that soap will smell so nice anyways. Even without essential oil. But I will add some. Right now. Today I'm using a cinnamon essential oil. Today I'm using cinnamon essential oil. Let's see, it smells so nice. Very nice smell. I think I have to mix it a bit more. And it looks nice. Wow, it looks really nice. I think I have to divide this so I can do at least two colors. I think it is time to pour into the mold and leave undisturbed it for about 24 to 6 hours. So let's see.
I will add one spoon turmeric inside this soap butter and it will be a little bit turmeric like orangey and buttery whatever is natural color and the bun is on top so we need uh, one spoon this Take a picture inside. Okay, this was turmeric. 
and I will pour the soap water on top. Okay, let's see. I think I need my rubber spatula to pour everything all of it here. So let's use all of it. Okay, now we can replace the bunnies on top.
Now I have to replace this bunny on the top. Let's see if I can this small bunnies. Oh, we can put it on top of this. Okay. I like to use a little bit spirulina powder to make it green on top a little bit. This is a spirulina powder. Just I'm trying to make this look a little bit green. Fix it. Okay, I think it looks okay. Now I can put bunnies. We clean so we can cut the and let's see how looks this one because this one I made it yesterday. This is a little bit different from the one I just made it, but it's same recipe. It's just bunnies standing here and they're just laying down. See? Let's cut all of it and see which one will be better. Um, okay, let's cut. Let's see how this works. Let's cut next one. Oh. 
I think I have to this one a little bit on side. I think this is short. this one very nice second one I will I need to do this because I don't want to cut the bunnies just want to cut like this a little bit this side How do you like this? Looks cute, I think. And cut the next one. Okay, so this is the This next one. I have to leave those to cure for weeks. I can cut this one. It smells really good. This bunnies. This was a big piece. I have to cut this. I think this is huge, so we don't need to do this much. We'll just try to cut like this. Okay, this will be with piece without bunny, but it's still okay. And I might cut a little bit more this one So we get two, four, five, six bunnies. Let me know if you like it. Okay, try to use my recipe and let me know how you like my recipe and how do you like my design. Thank you. See you next time.